In the year 1960, an armed conflict between Afghanistan and Pakistan took place. Dardan Afghan Prime Minister Daud Khan sent Royal Afghan Army troops across the porous border into Pakistan's Bajor. The Afghan Army incursion was repulsed by Pakistan Army and the Pashtun tribesmen in Pakistan. The battle came to an end after the Afghan forces were routed. Several Afghan troops that were still inside the Pakistani territory surrendered. Result? Diplomatic relations between the two nations worsened. Six decades later, Pakistan has threatened Afghanistan with cross-border strikes. If it fails to contain Tehreek-e Taliban terrorists operating against Islamabad from Afghan soil. In order to understand the conflict between these two radicalized Islamic nations, we need to understand where it all began. Relations between the two states of Afghanistan and Pakistan have been strained ever since India gained independence from the United Kingdom following the partition of British India in 1947 and Pakistan was formed. Following the partition, the Kingdom of Afghanistan was the only country to vote against the dominion of Pakistan's admission into the United Nations as a recognized sovereign state. After the independence of Pakistan, Afghanistan operated agents operated in northwestern Pakistan distributing large amounts of money and ammunition in an effort to sway loyalties from local Pakistanis to Afghanistan. Moreover, Afghanistan did not recognize the Durand Line, which is the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. Due to these large territorial claims over the west regions of Pakistan, roughly corresponding with the modern-day Pakistani provinces of Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, relations between the two countries soured and Afghanistan started funding proxies and initiated regular skirmishes with Pakistan along the border. By 1948, Afghanistan was providing armaments and funding to proxies inside Pakistan. Relations between the two states severely deteriorated in 1951 when an Afghan national, Saad Akbar Babrak, assassinated the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Liaquat Ali Khan, in Rawalpindi during a public rally. On 30th March 1955, Afghan demonstrators attacked and torched the Pakistani embassy in Kabul and consulates in Kandahar and Jalalabad, following which diplomatic relations were severed with Pakistan. Between 1960 and 61, thousands of Afghan troops disguised as local militias crossed the extremely porous Pakistan-Afghanistan border and entered the semi-autonomous Bajaur Agency of Pakistan in an effort to annex the region. During this time, Afghanistan also deployed thousands of troops with tanks and artillery along Afghanistan-Pakistan border and frequently attacked Pakistani tribesmen and military forces from mountainous posts. Local tribesmen inflicted heavy casualties on Afghan troops, ultimately pushing them back to the international border. The Pakistan Air Force subsequently crossed the border and bombed numerous Afghan military posts and encampments inside Afghanistan. Several Afghan troops inside Pakistani territory near the border surrendered, following which they were paraded on Pakistani national media, which became an embarrassment for Afghanistan internationally. That brings us to 2023. Pakistan has warned of military action inside Afghanistan if the Afghan Taliban continues to provide support to the Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan. However, the Afghan Taliban has denied the presence of TTP bases inside Afghanistan. According to reports in the Pakistani media, a delegation from Pakistan led by Defence Minister Khwaja Asif delivered this message during a meeting in Kabul, Ghani Brother the Acting Deputy Prime Minister of Afghanistan. Afghanistan's Acting Defence Minister Mullah Mohammad Yaqub also expressed the Afghan Taliban's concerns with the visiting Pakistani delegation and accused Pakistan of helping the United States carrying out a drone attack that killed then Al-Qaeda chief Ayman al-Zawahiri in Kabul in 2022. 
the Afghan Taliban has alleged that the US launched the drone strike using Pakistani airspace. However, Pakistan has rejected the Afghan Taliban's allegations and has claimed that the US has not been allowed to use Pakistani airspace against Afghanistan. The Afghan Taliban also told the Pakistani delegation that the TTP, also known as the Pakistani Taliban, has no presence in Afghanistan. The Afghan Taliban also claimed that all members of the TTP leadership had relocated to Pakistan after the Taliban captured Kabul in August 2021, following the withdrawal of US and NATO forces from Afghanistan. The question remains, with the constant offensive between the neighbouring Islamic nations, is another Bajor war in the making?